But guys know what I do. Y'all know what I do. I put people in body bags when I'm right. So we know what's going to happen. And I know you guys don't think you're going to beat me. I, I know you're going to them in their fucking head or stomp on their testicles so you can feel my pain because that's the pain I have waking up every day. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Steve. Mike, was that your shortest fight ever? I bear witness there's only one God, and Muhammad's blessings and peace be upon him as his prophet. I dedicate this fight to my brother, Darrell Baum, who died. I'll be there to see you. I love you with all my heart. All praise be to my children. I love you. Oh, oh God, oh, man, what? Is this your shortest fight ever? In any time, amateur, professional ever? Assalamu alaikum, Maida. Um... I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, Lennox Lewis, Lennox, I'm coming for you. Mike, is it frustrating to train like you did and then have no, this in seven or eight seconds? For this fight. I only trained probably two weeks or three weeks for this fight. I had to bury my best friend, and I dedicated this fight. I wasn't going to fight. I dedicated this fight to him. I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never that's been anybody that's ruthless. That's I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their claw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Are you saying now, Mike, that Mike? Caught up with this other piece of shit, Don King who's a wretched, this is just a wretched, slimy, reptilian motherfucker, right? Um, this is supposed to be my, this is supposed to be my brother, my black brother, right? He's just, um, he's just a bad man. He's a real bad man. He abused you and he would throw you, he would, he would, he would kill his mother for a dollar. He's ruthless, he's, un, he's deplorable. He doesn't know how to love anybody. That's just the way he is. Because after, cause after I, I kick Stuart ass and give him a slow beating, nearly death, I'm going to take whoever's the win after that, the Holyfield Douglas fight, and then regain my title. And hopefully I can fight Ray the Ruddick or this other guy, George Foreman, before he die of, you know what I mean, rigor mortis. I said, white boy, I'm going to fucking kill you. Because <laughs> now I know there's no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna take Ray the Ruddick out, you know what I mean? It's good that he shows his heart that he's a great fighter and he wanna take me. But I guarantee you the slaughter will even be more slower. If you're um, trying to intimidate, intimidate me in any way whatsoever, don't you know that doesn't work? Didn't you try it the first time? So you don't have to come out here and hack the same ignorance you usually hack all the time. We're gonna fight any which way it goes. So just accept that and come in and do the best you can. I dare you talk to me like that. You should, you should get up and kneel to me now, and I'll spare you the night of the 28th. Uh, Francois Botha, 6-1 to one underdog. Are there any concerns on your part? I don't know anything about that. I don't know nothing about numbers. I just know what I can do. How about Kill the... this mother... Okay. How about the 19 months off? Does, what does about that... it? Does what it about it? Does it pose any problem to you? We'll see. I doubt it seriously. You take into the ring a lot of rage. Does that work for you or does it work against you at times? You know, who cares? We're in a fight anyway. What, what, the, what, what does it matter? Well, for example, rage against uh, Vander Holyfield worked against you. Well, f it. It's a fight. So whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. F off. Well, well, tell me, what, what did you think in that first round when he was moving, trying to do an Ali no, with his left? I know. When I, when I came to this fight, I was the best fighter in the world, and I'm a man alive that can beat me. What broke him down? Was it just Constantly the body punches. When I was, I was hitting him with body punches, and I heard him, actually, he was crying in there. Making woman gestures like, oh, 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 I can't How, find yeah. it, but I knew that he was breaking down soon. You're saying that Biggs was crying when yes. you hit him? Yes. When, when did that happen? And perhaps the fourth round on. What happened here? He got bit, I think. Evander Holyfield, look out, he's pushed right here. Above us, a dirty Mike Tyson. I can't believe Well, first he had a parachute drop on him, now he had a heavyweight. Oh, what did we get that on tape? Fighting Holyfield in the right ear. Hurts like hell, but he certainly had a big bite. But he bit his ear, I can see the bite mark. Okay. He bit his ear, he's out. You know what's funny, Mike, Mike was having his best friend. He bit him again. He, he bit him again. again. I'll tell you what, this is unbelievable. 
at that one, at that bike. Now here's the bike. Keep, keep your eye on Mike. See, Mike has just, see, look at him. You can see it. You can see it. There it is. In a headlock. And look at this. He just reaches in and bites him. It's over. I think they've just about had him. More fighting in the ring after the end of the fight. Tyson's trying to get at Holyfield again, I believe. It is. And they're still fighting in there. Which opened the gash on your eye. Tell us about that first. Um, he butted me um, in the first round, but then he butted me again in the second round. Then as soon as he butted me, I watched him. He had me holding it. He looked right at me, and I saw him, and he was going for it. And he kept going for it, and he butted me again. He kept going down and coming up, and he put, charged into me. And no one warned him. No one gave, took any points for him. What am I to do? This is my career. I can't continue getting butted like that. Right. I got children to raise. And this guy keeps butting me, trying to cut me and get me stopped on cut. I got to retaliate. Now, immediately, you stopped. You stopped fighting immediately right there and you turned to Mills Lane and you said what and he the result was he did nothing but what did you say to Mills right at that time I don't remember what I said I told him that he butted me but I know I complained about being butted and we go and we complained about the um the first fight listen Holyfield's not the tough warrior everyone says he is he got a little nicks on him there and he quit I got an eye I got one eye I got one eye he's not impaired he got ears I got one eye big if he take one I got another one I'm ready to fight he didn't want to fight I'm ready to fight him right now yeah, Mills Lane no Mills Lane stopped the fight it wasn't Holyfield who stopped him. oh he didn't want to fight oh, he didn't want to fight let me ask let me we don't know what Mills did don't quit nothing on Mills well Mills said he stopped the fight you bit him was that a retaliation for the eye when you bit him in his ear regardless of what I did he bit butt me for two fights but you got to address it Mike Why I, did did you address, no, I did address it. I addressed it in the ring why, why did you do that though Mike I mean was look that the proper me. response look at me look at me look at me look at me I gotta go home my kids are gonna be scared of me look at me man what are you gonna do now in terms of your career Mike Will you continue to fight? I'm gonna make sure you talk about me <clears throat> your grandkids and kids after that are gonna know about me I'm gonna make sure of that they're never gonna forget about me. Vince, you know I me. Mean? These fellas, I dare them challenge me with their somewhat prim primitive skills. They're just as good as dead. Team Mike Tyson, Ray the Ruddick, Ray the Ruddick dies. If he doesn't die, it doesn't count. If he's not dead, it doesn't count. The champion, the linear heavyweight champion. He is the WBC, the IBF, and the IBO heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis. Everybody, you bitch, come on, you bitch, you scared coward. You got man enough to fuck with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white pussy. Scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me, faggot. Sick. I never dreamed of living this long. I never dreamed of fornicating with as many beautiful women as I did. I'm having as much money as Criticism I that you've received. What's your feeling about the criticism? Kids that never fought in their damn life and still they're gonna be um, um, they're psychologists and say, I, I'm a squam, swami and I could look at Mike Tyson's brain and I could tell from by the way he's acting, this is what he's thinking, which is, you know what I mean? And um, the only thing that's unbelievable is that the public believes this. You know what I mean? And they believe this. And I, you know what I mean? These guys are idiots. You know what I mean? They, they never fought a, a day in their life. And then, but these are the same guys that talk about me on television. Like, I'm some bibbling moron. I don't see what I don't see them on television. People don't tell me. They say, hey, Mike, how you doing? You look in great shape. You look good, man. Boy, you would, man, please, man, have the, get in my face. And say, Mike, I think you're an individual. They can't say I'm a bum. I'm not a good fighter. Because, you know what I mean? Three and a half years and 11 defenses proved it. You know, they can't say that. So they could just say, Mike, you're a hell of a fighter, but I think you're a dog. I think I hate your attitude. I hate what you stand for. You know what I mean? Or whatever. I mean, have the guts to say that.